Hello, testing, testing. Seeing if the audio is okay on the stream, it looks okay. Alright. Gonna load up the game, see where we are. I think we just got the... Um, <clears throat> if I recall. We, we were just at the orphanage with Billy. And now we're looking for that crazy ship. The next part of our uh, adventure is helping out killing some undead ship. Something like that. Clearing out the Vel's ship that the church fights against. Alright. Uh, return to the gunroom in the morning to find Billy. Gunroom in the morning. I don't know where the gunroom is. This is Faye. Right, Faye's in a coma. He's in a shulk coma after his uh, almost drowning by Ramses. This is Margie's room. Go ship, eh? Reminds me of the days Bart and I used to stare at each other. Margie, stop talking about that. <laughs> if you insist, change party members. Uh, sure. Okay, don't have Billy yet. Gotta find Billy. Return to the gun room to find Billy. This is the hangar. This is... Maybe the gun room is downstairs or with these? ship, I'll stay here. This is the engine room. See you later. Okay. Where is the gun room? Maybe it's the, the bridge? Like where the captain is? Master Billy is waiting for you over there. Oh, maybe I Oh, this must be the gun room then. Where's Billy? There. Nope. Satan. I would be more than happy to come along. This is Billy. Here we go. Good morning. I heard you were still sleeping, so I went ahead and came on board. You are very lightly equipped. Will that be enough? We tones have some rather unique equipment. Let me give you an explanation since we're going to be working together. First of all, regarding my basic loaded up guns, there's three kinds. Handgun, ether gun, and big gun. Only the handgun can be swapped out for other guns of the same kind. I made the other two kinds of gun myself. There's no alternatives. You can power up a gun's attack by loading more powerful ammo. If it's a load ammo, press right, left or right to equip. This will display a sub-window where you can select your ammo. One thing you have to be careful is the number of bullets. Manage your ammo. Keep ample supply. Reload frequently. Having said that, note that ether guns don't have a limit. Did you understand? Yeah, perfect. Fine piece of deed shows a significant history, of course. It's a famous rifle, machine, machine ganator, machine ganator, machine ga ganator, an heirloom of the Fatima family. Seems too good for you who just brandishes a whip. Jeez. Hey, what are you getting sharp with me for? Oh, sorry, it's just I didn't think you would have an interest in guns. Well, anyway, Billy, I'd like to know why you become an atone. I'm not interested. Thought, thought, thought. It's true you're about to help a complete stranger with his work, so of course you would be curious. Oh, that's not what I meant. It's just out of personal interest. I find it surprising that you're a tone. I see. Well, since our job is unusual, I'll tell you about I'll tell you about that too, as I explain. How old was I at the time? I don't really remember. Maybe eight or nine. Because other than then, Dad taught me how to use a gun. Oh boy. One day, Dad disappeared. Josiah! God damn it, Jesse. Oh my god, does he kill like his sister or something with a gun? He just ran out on us. He never came back. It was a horrible shock even for my young mind, but I couldn't bring myself to cry. 
because I still had mom and firm. Even so, I stayed in dad's room alone often. His gun, his smell, from within those things he had left behind, I would try to get a small sense of a father. Uh, very Freud. But even that happiness did not last long. When I was 12, the house was suddenly attacked by a group of wells, and mom was killed. They wanted to know dad's whereabouts, but mom wouldn't talk. Those look like the drunk sailors with a bottle in their hands from the, the different colored. I can still hear it, the sound of the bullets. Mom fired in retaliation, three shots slowly ringing out. I remember the sound of the empty shells hitting the floor, but then the bells cried out, cried out and I heard someone fall. It was Bishop Stone who rescued us that day. It'd be fair to say that our fortunes changed from that meeting onwards. Hey, hey, wait a sec. Do Vels talk? Yes, they're not just monsters. Some of them are more intelligent than humans. Oh, so they're not like undead zombies. They're like weird mutants. Primera and I hid and so escaped death, but she hadn't spoke but she hasn't spoken a word since. Like a godsend, kind, strong Bishop Stone gave me an example to follow. Okay, so Bishop Stone is definitely going to be a villain. He is way too good so far. I want to save others from evil people the way he saved us. I didn't want any more children to end up like Primera. So I began training at the Church of Ethos in order to become just like Bishop Stone someday. I left Prim in the care of the church and entered the monastery. Many years passed. I finished training at the monastery and became an, became an atone. I returned home to open the orphanage and shortly after, he, dad, unexpectedly came back. But he was different. Some terrible accent had disfigured his face. Not only that, but his character and manner had completely changed too. The dad I'd remember had, be had been a quiet man, but no, I'd rather think maybe it was me who didn't remember him clearly. That's why I still can't think of him as my real father. Hmm, this is a mystery. I wonder if it's like someone's taking his identity somehow. But Prim needs a father, and as a matter of fact, she's really taken to him. I think deep down in myself. I think, deep down, I myself want to have a father, too. But even now, I have a hard time believing that he's really my dad. Ha! This is going to sound stupid, but since we had only each had each other for so long, in order to provide for Prim, I went as far as to try to sell my own body. Despite that, apparently Prim prefers the dad who suddenly appeared out of nowhere. The one who we don't even recognize. Try to sell your own body? Don't you know, kid? There's things you can get back once sold, and there's things you just can't. Couldn't you see that? Of course I detest it, but I was told I can get 3,000 gold for one night. You fool, listen, next time you and your sister need help, come to my ship. We expect everyone to do their bit here. At least you wouldn't need to worry about food and a place to sleep. And don't you ever talk about being bought or sold in front of me again. You understand? Could this be? Maybe you are a nice guy after all. Why don't you just come out and say thank you? Jeez. Uh, uh, well, it's not like you've been a help to us yet, so I won't say it. Cute kid. Real cute. Looks like we've arrived. It's possible the, tran the transport ship is under attack by Vels. 
Who will assist me? Uh, so you said Satan will also be a good choice. Okay. Satan, Ellie, and Billy. Okay. We're here. Do we have to buy anything? Yeah, Billy apparently was uh, selling his body as uh, to make them ends meet. Child prostitution in my Xeno years. I guess he's 18 now, so I don't really know. But uh, yeah. Life's hard. Billy's had a tough life. That's dark, yeah, that's kind of dark. Kind of dark. Get on the transport ship? Okay, let me just check the bridge to see if there's anything here. I think there's just gonna be save points. I can go anytime, yeah. We have arrived at the transport ship, be careful now. My name is Bingo, the apprentice helmsman. Sigurd has been teaching me. No, 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 I'm good. Alright. New map, okay, perfect. On the transport trip? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's dark. What is that odor? This unusual smell is that of the Vels. It sure looks like they attacked. One more thing. On the room's middle wall is a red switch. Push the switch to turn on the lights. Scared? No. Just a little. Okay. Light switches over there. Okay. East wall. There it is. Nice. Penguin coat. Okay. Our first uh, Bell's attack. He just fucking pulled oh, one damage. What? Oh, each I get it. Each different uh, like attack is a different strength for the different guns he has. I think. skills we like to see that actually let's use a survival tent because I think some of these guys are not at max life
So you have to take upstairs to get there. Gotcha. Some more ammo. Sounds like a meat locker. That's funny. Survival tents. Should we open now? Yes. Okay. Do these do damage to me? No. Okay. Take the northwest into the long corridor. The southwest has a bloody shower that you just all talked about before. Cabin key, nice. Wow, it is the bloody shower. They love their like 80s horror references. Looks like blood. What happened on this transport? No wait. Water with rust in it. Let's hurry on ahead. They love their little like shining references and stuff. That's cool. Alright, there's a ladder here. Oh my god, this camera is not ideal. First 3D game. There's a silver beret. Can we go up this ladder? No. Let's go into this one. Nothing here. There's a shotgun ammo. Unlock it? Yes. It's rusted shut. Unlock it? It's unlock it. The door is rusted shut. Maybe if you ran into it? New map for the, this camera is definitely not ideal, yeah. Okay, so the triangle, his triangle attacks do no damage to certain enemies. It must be like, um, like physical fierce or something like that, or like opposite of that. Shotgun it now unlock the door, only it won't open, you have to dash into it from the other end. There's a ladder in the small kitchenette beyond. How do I dash into it? Oh, I have to, I have to go back into this room and go, go back upstairs. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I have to jump across here. Uh, who's attacking this time? Okay. attacks work on these guys, yeah. There's a fence there. I can't jump. Hmm. It must be down here then. Yeah, there must be a way. Is 
Is there not? Let me see your map again. Save, yep, two, three. Four, five, six. How do I get there? Now unlock the door, only in one open, you have to dash in from the other end of the hallway. Oh, other end of the hallway. Far end. Let's see. Okay, I got a boss fight. Or not a boss, a random battle. Last time. So X also does no damage to these guys. Yeah. So only Square so far seems to be doing damage to these fellas. I wonder if it's because they're unloaded or something. Do I have to load them? This camera is definitely not ideal. Must make it hard to play at times. Yeah, the camera is them definitely figuring out 3D for the first time. five damage because they're all like immune to that bullet type. <laughs> Only ether attacks maybe. Could be. of a hallway and it's unlocked, right? Maybe if you ran into it. There we go. Look at that puzzle. That was awesome. Now I have to go upstairs. Throw one open, yeah. Save point. Okay, so I should be able to go down somewhere. Here it is. Yeah, this is another one. This is just like the one that was in the sewer, but that one was red. This one is gray. Alright, so... Let me see what you said. Did you say anything about the boss yet? No, you didn't. Equip Billy with an ammo with the found when ready, jump down the open chimney. Okay. I will start fighting. What you got? First aid. Removes physical effects. Removes mental. Um, murder. murder. You bloody uses murder, you should use Edisol's Please, I hear the super OP. the instant kill. I can use this. Next time. Man, Satan is so fast. Billy, what do you 
got it. Removes all effects, restores HP, speeds up alley, restores HP, ether stat all right, ether stats on you. Man. That insta-kill. Alright, is that a soul? like no damage buddy okay you're just gonna be a healer from now on lightning earth flash fire oh that healed him i think did you tell me that he's no okay i think i just healed him 700 Some of those seem to be healing him. Try water. Seven sixty-eight. Okay. So I think Billy's attacks might his square attacks might be elemental, or uh, some of his attacks might be elemental. That's why they were only taking one damage. did the most damage so far. Nice. Got his ass. Mm, it's up to you now, big brother. Big brother, is it? I'll call for help with this. Heal up. Should we able to go upstairs and use a survival tent actually? Let's do that. Oh. oh, scene happened, I guess. Exclamation point, exclamation point. Billy signal. Hey everyone, it's Shift G. Wind direction check. Target Target coordinates X1020, Z303. Roger, engage autopilot. Catapult, ready. Look out. Oh my. Yeah, push, pull, great, great. Oh my god, are they like using human power? There's like a Power Ranger scene. Got Billy's gear. It's kind of popish. Ren Mazuo standing by. Ready? Go! Go get him. Today's launch was so so. <laughs> eh, 6 out of 10. It was just so so.
just as I thought, this transport's infested. I must go to the church and report it to Bishop Stone. Yo, look at that thing behind you guys. Huh? Is something there? And they turn around and it's it's gone. I do not see anything, just fish jumping around. Ah, the sea, the cool breeze. So different from the desert, is it not? Billy, who's big brother? I think it's most likely a giant Vels. It won't show up so soon after being summoned, though. It's an entity we wouldn't stand much of a chance against by ourselves. But I preemptively called up for my gear, so there's no need to worry. Nope. Faster than I expected. Sorry about that. Did you not say that we would not stand much of a chance against it by ourselves? I think it'll be here any time now. This is like a super sun Saturday morning cartoon at this point. That was good timing, eh? We owe the kids our thanks. Well, here it comes. Save, replace some of the parts on Billy's gear. Only damage with ether attacks. Okay. Alright. So first things first. We're boostering. We're gaming today. Alright. Ether machine. Healing light. Spell decrease. Spell decreases. Okay, so useless. Zero damage. Okay. Satan. Spell. This is an all nothing, right? Next core spell. Okay, so just. Boom. Zero. Oh, that's right. Only ether. Alright. Alright. There we go. 2340. Enlarges when hit by ether. Attack up, defense down. Oh, interesting. This is Billy. Um, I don't need to do any of this, right? Special options. Fix frame. Actually, like this doesn't do any damage, does it? Okay, yeah, it does. Satan. Does this do damage? No. Okay, so Billy Square is an ether attack. I know I don't want that. I want arrows. This should like one shot her, I think. This is like her special ability that scales off her ether. Stuff that she learned how to do uh, in the drug, I think. The drive. She should do like 4,000 damage, right? Yeah! Let's go! Yo. Ellie's OP. Nice. Thank you for helping me, everyone. To be honest, that was too dangerous for me on my own. I couldn't have done it without you. Is your job always this dangerous? Ha, who'd have thought you'd call a gear? What the hell is the church thinking anyways? We atones are merely fulfilling our di divine mission. Sorry, it was wrong of me to say that. Don't get so worked up. So you're going to re report back to the church about your job's results, right? If you like, we'll give you a ride to the church HQ. It's on our way. That would be great. So as long as it doesn't put you out. It's also the matter of properly thanking you all. So let's head to the church headquarters. Okay. Go to orphanage. Couple one, two, and three. Secret behind it to get superb gun, which comes with ammo. Okay, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's set off. Yeah, let's launch. Let's go back to the orphanage and get that. Because we did get all three books. And Billy was, uh, being like, yo, don't go through my stuff. Don't go through my stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Billy is just fucking... He just blasts people with a gat. Cringe. 
This weapon has a lot of life. that weird towel tower tower that we're gonna get to the end of the game tower babel clearly reach into the heavens Look at uh, the Ramzuo's cape. It like flows in the wind. That's cool graphics. Oh god. Watch that been like a super rare enemy or something. Orphanage. Alright, go into the bookcase here. Oh, because we're with Billy, so that makes sense. He's part of our partner. He can't stop us from going into his room. This is the room I remember. You see B and J? Gun. This is Father's. Reminds me of long ago. There's ammo here too, you said? Oh, which comes with ammo. Okay, let's see if we can equip it. Oh, yeah, so from civilian rank A to Jesse's rank double A. And there's the ammo, 100 shots. Shotgun, 60. Oh, I see, it's the number that goes up, okay. Okay, yeah, so ether guns, so see, you can kind of see here. Uh, so, like, the handgun has ammo, the shotgun has ammo, that must be triangle, and then square is the elemental bullets he has. So that's why some of my stuff is doing different damages, I can get it. Um, so let's give him some good shit. He's a healer, I think. Cannot miss seems really good for a gunner. He's missing a lot. Fire. There's, there's a heal one, I thought. Okay, you doubler, which is really good. Doubles use a healing lifestyle. Okay. This guy should be a pumper healer now. What's after this? <clears throat> Not the dude said. Uh, I think I have to go to the HQ. Wonder if there's anything else I need to do before we go there. Place Billy's gear inside before we go to the HQ. Let's uh, replace our equipment before we save because we don't want to do that after.
K tune up. Yeah. You're right, Max, right? V825, yeah. Okay, so this Billy should meet up right now. There we go. Oh my god, look at the cape fly in during the, when the camera switches. That's awesome. Ren Mazuo. So I want to do the upgrade stuff. Okay, so he does have an 18, 2500. We have any upgrades here. We have a run, some keys. Yeah, let's upgrade. We have armor. He has the AR250, not bad. Let's build you up. There we go. Well, let's buy a bunch of ammo, yeah. 100 shots each. Sheesh! And we're gonna run out of bullets. Anything here that we don't have? Come again. I will check with the uh, Maison to see if he has bullets for me to buy. My, hasn't he gotten lively around here? How may we have service? Let's see if you have any updates. Okay, stars. Nothing else. Yep. What you sent me? Next area. Is this the Athos HQ? Or something else? I guess it's the Athos HQ. Okay. Where was that? That was on the map somewhere. Is this the FS HQ? Or is it? No, I think it's up top there. Let me check down here just in case. I don't think this is the. No, this is the Tumbleweed. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's the top corner, top left corner there. Zero. Oh my god, dead scythe. You're ugly. I do like watching Billy just fucking blast people, and he's from a church. There's the FOS HQ.
save. So it looks like we're both under a dungeon. Burning Souls is what this chapter is called. After the Vel's ship. The Burning Souls. Alright, you're the law. Next area. From the main entrance, take the long west hallway. Okay. Good. This is what happened here. Oh no. Billy. Are you alright? What happened? I don't know. Suddenly I heard a gunshot. We should probably shouldn't keep all these guns in the church. Hey. Hang in there. Hey. It's no use. He can't survive with those wounds. Why? Why did this happen? This is... This is Father's shell casing. Damn it. Don't tell me he stormed into church headquarters in desperation it is possible with him what your dad killed these people all right uh the man should take the long west hallway right, let's see if there's anything to look for yeah oh my god did josiah kill all these people there must be a reason that that's why you're saying like my man my my father was a quiet man like, what if it's, like, not his father anymore and someone's been, like, you know, pretending to be his dad? Or pretending to be his, like, identity or something? Wow! <laughs> Don't move. Who are you? There are still survivors? What the fuck is this? Look at these things! Oh, should I have change party? Should we say change party? No, I think it's fine. Okay. Oh, sorry, mass shootings and child prostitutes. Is this set in the United States? Well, it was written by a Japanese couple in the 90s, and they had this story in their head for a long time, so... Did not say they changed for Yeah, it should be fine. We're pretty overpowered now. I'm just curious if there's, like, an optimal one. These guys are literally called assassins. Hee 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 hee. Kill your next turn. Okay, definitely want to murder you before that happens, I think. Levels up, Koga Lounge. Horse battles. Okay, basically just explore. Where are these guys? Why are they attacking Athos? Are the people from Athos alright? They mentioned survivors, but what? Then everyone? Come on, Billy, there have to be survivors. Let's help them. Oh my god, did they wipe out like the entire church? Like all in one. Let's <laughs> go. 
is just that empty church room. I remember there were a bunch of people in here that we were talking to before. It's kind of fucked up to hear that they might be all dead. Did Anakin kill the younglings? Yeah, but who's like who are these assassins, right? Who are they with? Like, Seems like it, it seems to be implying that it's uh, Billy's dad, so maybe he found out something awful, right? Like the church. Oh man, suddenly some men in black came and killed everyone. I hurried and hid so they didn't find me. Okay, the chef is still alive. Okay. So far, so, like, they didn't kill everyone. Kill you next turn. Uh, hopefully not. You guys all dead? There you are. Oh my god, there's six of you? Jesus. These are Vels, too. What does that mean? Was the ship just like a, a lure or something? Did the ship like... No good, he has passed away. Oh. Oh, just by talking to him I got that. Right, let's heal up. Uh, staircase to A, B, C, sure. Do people turn into Vels when they die? Oh, that's interesting. Because we saw um, the one that was in the sewer was the Red Vels, and that was one of the orphan's uh, parents. So it's the or one of the orphans we met's father. Uh, and he went to, I don't remember what he said, I think he said like he went to go work in the city, work in Kislev. And then we found him in the sewers in Kislev as that monster. And then we found another monster on the ship with the bells. And we killed that one. Do people turn into them when they die, yeah. Maybe there's some sort of weird transformation. I'm trying to think. Other people have died in the story of not turned into zombies that we're aware of. But maybe we just haven't really seen them after the fact or whatever. I should have blocked everything or dodged everything. Oh, that's still better. You're atoned. All that awaits those with ethos is death. Okay, they're clearly killing churchgoers here. So it's interesting that. Uh, Jesse's father might be the head of this, or maybe he was just trying to help, and they, it was like a false, you know, like accusation or whatever. How do we, how do we know that zombie Alice and Timothy aren't haunting Halan? Well, we disintegrated their bodies when Faye uh, exploded, but possibly. Could be. That's kind of fucked up. 
surely there's no way that those... Well, I bet those two coming back in, like, a profound way, like, their souls or something. Or, or something like that might be a part of the story. Like, so, I, from a, we're just at the tip of the iceberg still, right? Like, we're seeing some weird stuff so far with, like, the prophecy and the 500 years ago and Faye is the, the destined one, the... Right? But, like... I think it goes way deeper. But now I sort of want them to. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we see Timothy and Alice again and they tell Faye to go fuck himself. Well, fuck you, your stupid destiny got us killed like 600 times in a row or whatever, right? What if every time Faye, uh, every, uh, version of Faye so far, really says, what's going on? Are these guys in black gonna kill all of us who are with the ethos? What if every version of Faye has killed every version of Timothy and Alice for his, like, it's always his rising action in the timeline, is to murder people on accident or on purpose. <laughs> Here comes our prey. Kill it. This could be fun. Anything here for me to look at? Oh. Survivors, what's happening? I'm scared. What's going on inside? It's only men in black storming here. The tones are fighting back for us now. Oh, jeez. What happened from the man to the man from the church? He hasn't been back to the room since leaving. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. needs triangles. Billy needs triangles and squares. Alright, so the map says go back down. So I'm back in this hallway. I'll go here. Purge, purge. Shit. Ah, the 
secret behind the bookcase. Bishop, are you alright? Oh, Millie, you're safe. The purge has begun. We sinners have brought God's judgment on mankind. God's judgment? What do you mean, Bishop? He's gone. What was he trying to tell me? Purge? I wonder what he meant. Oh, is this just, uh... Solaris? Purge? Okay, now we're downstairs. We want to take the second door to the north. You used to take the northern to the middle to the east. I want to rescue someone. X is the prisoner ship. Okay, yeah. That's not nice there, so. Let's see. What is this all about? Who are you all? You're still pretending you don't know anything? You may be the leader of the ethos, but you don't know when you're beaten. It's been exposed? Rebelling against us will cost you your life. Yeah. The Pontiff. Damn you. Oh, he's like, it's been exposed. Okay, so the church is doing something real fucked up. Confirmed. Or I should have healed. Alright, um... Cells. There's Big Joe. Oh, my best buddies. You came all the way to save me, eh? Well done, well done. Someday you'll brag about saving me. Adios, amigos. Thanks, Big Joe. I like how you appear. You're like a recurring funny character in the background. That's why I like you, Big Joe. Right, here's the Shabbat prisoner. Are you alright? Snap out of it. I don't know anything. I won't say anymore. Hang in there now. Don't worry. We came here to help you. Shabbat. Got to contact Shabbat. Shabbat. You are from Shabbat? It's a nasty wound. It'd be too dangerous to leave her in this condition. Let us contact the leadership to request assistance. This person will be fine now that we've contacted the leadership. Let's hurry on. Okay, great. We rescued her. Okay. Turn the lane hallway. Be battle. Or after some hacking scenes. Okay, so I think we just go down now.
Nice, taking the secret elevator down. Judging from our position, this room is right under the cathedral, which could mean that this is the church data bank. I am sure of it. This has to be the church data bank. Okay, everyone's here? Yeah, so it seems. This is a surprise. This data bank holds all the information concerning the church. From the past to the present, everything. This facility is strictly off limits to us. Only the bishop class can and ever enter this area. Yeah, but even then, this place is a damn well equipped. Look at it. I say a facility this magnitude would even be hard to find in Solaris. Why would the church have such a setup? Yo, dog. You know why. Wait a minute, this is Solaris equipment. So, Solaris? Don't be so surprised. No matter how vast this world is, such advanced equipment as this could only come from Solaris. The church has been assaulted by someone, and in the basement we find a Solarian facility. Hmm, the plot thickens. What's going on here? What is this place? Hey, Billy, you know anything about this? Don't ask me. How would I know? This is my first time in here. Then let's investigate. I'm going to find out some deep truths. Satan, what is being displayed there? It looks like some transmission record from somewhere. We may be able to find some clues here. Wait one moment. Alright, now I'm able to transmit it to the main displays. Ignas Conflict Status, 37th Arm Supplement, upgrading uh, his gears from level D2 to D3, report number 2 from Noah Tones D Block Committee, report number... Okay, so, before we get into, before I hit X, I just want to think about what's happening. The church, this church, the church, the headquarters that we're at right now, are the main controllers of repairing and giving out... Uh, weapon equipment gears to the world to Av and Kinsla, the, the two major countries. Um, so this looks like the um, immediately like you can see like 37th arm supplement upgrading Av's gears from D2 to D3 or whatever it is. They're like deciding how they want the war to go. They're gonna support one side or give weapons to one side or give them really good stuff or really bad stuff. They manipulate it from behind the scenes. I think that's what this is saying. Look, Sigmund's forceful expulsion of the church from the central district government has made a has made coordination difficult. So Sigmund from Kislev, he apparently was very anti-church or anti-religion, and he kicked out most of the church people from the high-ranking things, planning to eliminate Sigmund when no longer useful, requesting permission to use battling test subject Ricardo. Oh, that went by really fast. I'm gonna see if I can read it again on the, the, re the recording. Planning to eliminate Sigmund when no longer useful. Customer to, use to carry out the elimination. Yeah, so they somehow were using Rico. Transferring data for each battler. Biological status of A-class battler. Adaptation rate of the deployment plans type Y demi-human. Transferring data for the above to the homelands. Maintain his love gears at level D2. Current balance 4 to 6. Report by Bishop Shakan of the Ignis Dioges. Dioses. So Shakan is a part of this. Due to the intervention of an uncertain factor, correction is needed. Operation progress rate down 30%. What the heck is this? Why is the church looking into this kind of stuff? On top of that, Shikhan's a bishop? Wasn't he excommunicated 17 years ago? No, that's just a cover. This can't be the case if he's sending in regular reports. Look here. Destination of all the resources collected by the church through the trade with each area. All the resources being sent on to the Solaris homelands. But why would the churches be sending supplies to Solaris? I don't know. Maybe because the church is set up by Solaris. This is in the Solarian language, but it's been encoded. Hold on, um, what is this? Come on, hurry up. Hold on, it's hard enough, it's hard to translate this stuff. Um, Lamb's Great War Collapse Re-Education. Post-war rehab plan based on schedule for building gate foundations. Lamb's 0204 to Ignis, 0508 to Equivy, 11 to... Six seem to be unifamily distributed, put into practice, church established as an organization, supervision by elders, conference supervision by the gazelle. The church is? Huh? 
It's all a front. The church is really a subsidiary organization of Solaris. Ding, 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 ding. Solaris set up the church. So, what does this all mean? In short, it's all like this. 500 years ago, there was a great war that occurred between Solaris and the land dwellers. It's not clear what the outcome was, but after the war, Solaris feared another revolt. So Solaris built a gate, or a barrier, that separates Solaris land from the rest of the world. The land dwellers who lived within the gate were made to dwell as separate races, and then, as, and then and were thus supervised. To carry out the actual supervision, Solaris established the church. So the church is actually controlled by the Gazelle Ministry, or Solaris Highest Rated, or, sorry, or Solaris Highest Governmental Body. So yes, the church is really a front or subsidiary organization working for Solaris. Excavation findings good from natural resources from the surface are transported to Solaris by the church. This also includes human resources, or people use as manual labor. The church is a part of the Nazi government! Basically, this here is a window between the planet's surface and Solaris up there in the skies above. Frankly, these records has an enormous amount of goods and people transferred to Solaris. Yeah, we know that, because Satan and, um... Sigurd were both like, uh, or maybe Satan was, Satan was like a lower class, but Sigurd was like kidnapped. So we know they've been like stealing body snatching people. So the church has been manipulating this, huh? Anything else? The rest is mainly about population distribution and excavation records. The amount of detailed information about races and the biological data kind of concerns me though. Almost like eugenics. Here's a relatively recent record. It also indicates that there's been a large amount of people sent to Solaris. The majority of them were people who had come to the church seeking help or spiritual salvation. This can't be. I've heard nothing of the sort. Imagine going to the church and being like, yo, I need to find God, and they fucking UFO you. They, they send you up into the sky to be a slave laborer. So what happened to all these people who've been coming here for help? They, they become atones, like me. Surely not all of them. What happened to the ones that didn't become atones? Well, uh... It's all becoming clear then. How about it, Ellie? There are facilities like there are facilities and slaves for accommodating surface dwellers. I know. Third class citizens level earth dwellers of various races are regularly sent there as manual labor. So this is the source of their labor supply. That's impossible. How could that be? If that was the case, who would kill all those church people and why? This could be your answer. What? The forty fourth salvage plan. The forty fourth salvage plan. Isn't that what the captain of Tammuz was talking about? This is the only plan that is not linked to Solaris. It must have been initiated by the church itself as a completely independent project. It was commenced about 19 years ago. Allow me to display the data. Completed investigation of the Zeboim city, which sank to the bottom of the sea. So the Zeboim was where they said they found nano machines, I think. It's approximately 4,000 years ago. After over 100 test digs, the city center has been ascertained. Excavation plan to begin. So from this, it appears that under Equivy lies an ultra-ancient civilization. They've been doing a huge number of test digs and obtain a vast quantity of resources from the ruins. Biological weapons, reactive weapons, hmm, I see, so this must be their intention. My assessment of the circumstances is that the church is attempting to break away from Solaris, and once freed from its master, it, will, it is likely to attempt world domination on its own. Let's go. Look at this sentence right here. Once the church breaks away from the, the monsters in the sky, it will likely try to dominate the world itself. Let's go. But now they're all dead, I assume. Attempt a breakaway, an attempt world domination? That's rather <laughs> ambitious. Yes, but the real intentions of the church are quite obvious. The fact they are not reporting results, let alone the site's very existence, gives it away. The church is planning to revolt by monopolizing this ultra-advanced civilization's resources. Actually, such rebellions have been quite common. So do you think Solaris is responsible for the attack on the church? Yeah, of course. Yes, that's probably it. They called it a purge, so clearly. Should we move along? There could be more yet to find. The church, my church, my faith. Hey, Billy. How long am I planning on being like that? Get a hold of yourself. It's all just speculation based on circumstantial evidence. It would be best for you to confirm what the truth is with your own eyes. We're going on further. But Bart and Rico, please, could you please accompany the person from Shira to the Yggdrasil? Yeah. Big revelations. Kind of obvious. The church is evil. Alright, anything else to click here? No, I think we just have to exit.
I, I still can't believe it. The ethos that the ethos was that dubious an organization. What was it that I believed in all this time? Is that the very reason why I told you back then that you belong with us? They're lane. You're defiled, Billy. You left the ethos and kept company with dregs who have no faith at all. You lost sight of what it means to be defiled. I expected out of you. You who used to live only for your faith, you should have remained like us. But fear not, Billy. I shall cleanse you. You'll live within me. You'll become one with me in death. What? You. Father, how could you do that? What are you getting flustered about, boy? There's a stun bullet. He's just taking a nap. You should have been able to tell by the sound it made. Besides, these murderers are not from the ethos. Look. That symbol. Yes, that's right. They're agents of Solaris. Probably an assassination unit under Stone's command. I got word that they were exterminating all Ethos members and hurried here. Taco says kisses. Water check. Big water check. Appreciate that, Taco. There you go. You get the ASMR water. Oh, that was delicious water. Appreciate that. I got word that they were exterminating all Ethos members and hurried here, but I was too late. All Ethos affiliates have already been killed, except for those on some sort of salvage mission. You claim Verlaine and his men are on an assassination unit for the bishop? How could you even say such blasphemy? I got you, babe. No, you... I got you. That's right. We are servants of the bishop. Our judgment... Our mission is, a, is to hand out judgment on fallen priests and sinners in order to make them repent. Is that true, Verlaine? Why... But why people from the Ethos? The Pontiff and his brethren deserve to die. They allowed greed to tempt them to abandon their dues as the Ethos to pursue world domination. They passed their own destinies when they allowed such desires to overtake them. And that's not all. Saving orphans and refugees that may seem like works of mercy, but the little boys and girls kept here were actually used as a means to satisfy the desires of the Pontiff and Bishops. Oh no. No wonder this game had such a controversial 90s uh, take. Because this is when a lot of that stuff was coming out, right? The 80s and 90s. Yep. I mean, indulging in selfish desires, that is not contact with fitting priests. Such defiled leave and have no right to speak for God. That is why we set out on our... This is why we set out on this clarification work. They must atone for their sins. These are the bishop's orders. Even if that were true, we have no rights to punish others. Judgment belongs to God. That's what we were all taught, wasn't it? God? Where does such a being exist? You should know not... You should know by now how the ethos came about. There's an organization created by Solaris aeons, aeons ago solely for the purpose of managing ignorant humans. Hmm. Sounds like uh, interesting. You're saying the church was set up to control ignorant people. Interesting. Its doctrines are just deceptions designed to control the masses. The ethos use the sweet fruits of faith and technology wealth to skillfully manipulate the global affairs and people's zeal. Thus, they manipulated the ignorant masses to repeatedly continue their pointless wars. Eventually, battle data on men and weapons gleaned from these wars were sent to Solaris itself and analyzed to aid in ruling the entire Earth. These intentionally per per perpetuated wars caused much psychological discord, but faith in God's salvation was used as a cushion to soften the blow. As a very well-thought-out system, but the choice of managers was extremely poor. Poor. Did you think that acting the part of a excuse me? Did you think that acting the part of a faithful servant of God would someday yield an answer from a great God somewhere? Can't you see that such a divine being never existed from the beginning? And you don't seem to realize this, but you yourself were passing judgment on sinners as much as we were. I have been passing judgment. That's right. Daily, you've been dirtying your hands as an accomplice. Are you trying to take away my ultimate pleasure, Verlaine? Ha! Verlaine, hang in there. Wait. Ugh. Verlaine, Verlaine. Oh, here's Stone. A good for nothing chatterbox such as you has no right to live. Here's Stone. Here's the bad guy. Bishop, why Verlaine? What in heavens are you trying to accomplish? All these gunshots in this church. This is why the Second Amendment was an interesting choice. I am the Inquisitor sent to Earth from Solaris. Inquisitor? The status of bishop is merely a convenience for my activities on Earth. 
The Ethos was created as Solaris sub-organization and given the task of managing Earth dwellers. But over the years, Ethos started to set up convenient doctrines for itself and then went on to gather the ignorant masses and create a god for them to believe in. Then the then Ethos went so as far as to plot a separation from its creator, Solaris. But Solaris, so Solaris had no choice but to limit all who would defy our rule and raise the flag of rebellion. The runs who were eliminated, the ones prepared as eliminators were the Atone, Atones, the Atoners, the organization I established within the Ethos, had two purposes. On the surface, their aim was to eliminate Reapers, or Vels, that run rampant on the Earth. But that's not their only purpose. Behind the scenes, we also had a few, had a selected, behind the scenes, we also had selected men like Verlaine. Watch what occurs, pick your attack party. Okay, lots of stuff to do. Okay, you deleted it. Uh, those were responsible for observing and limiting any corrupting people who appeared in the ethos. You didn't have a chance to learn of this since you left the ethos so early. Or actually, I just never told you. There was another role I wanted you to perform. Another role? Billy, there are certain things in the world that you are happy or not knowing. Even lies and deceptions become the truth for some people of the earth. Particularly those not knowing the true nature of things. Or how how these systems of things work. In fact, the good, the god and faith systems were set up by ethos were not the truth itself, were they not? Tell me, what other role were you talking about? When did Verlaine mean when she spoke of judgment? So you want to know. But can you bear the full weight of the truth? Billy, if you can bear that weight, then I'm willing to tell you. You believe that you were saving wandering souls, didn't you? That's why you carried out your cleansing of reapers, vels from the earth. In fact, it was all just another control system put in place by Solaris, but what's more, your saving work, that act, that, that very activity you believe in so much was in reality, if you're talking too much nonsense. Father, you haven't changed at all since then, have you, Stein? Stein? That's a name I haven't been called for a long time. Hearing that name vividly brings back a pleasant twinge of pain to the scars on this body, you know what I mean, Josiah? <laughs> your brain still isn't working right. Answer me. Why do you have a roundabout way of doing things? That's not worth that's not worth wasting my breath. Just consider it my reward in life. Of course, that includes watching your agonizing death. I could succumb to your to the desire to slice up your body here and now and drag out your innards, but I can't do that now. I have a matter to attend elsewhere. That duty comes before any pleasure I couldn't I could have before you. That duty comes before any pleasure I could have with you here. I haven't the time to waste anymore. I won't let you go that easily, Stein. I can't be bothered by the insignificant wretches like you. This entire scene is comical. Interesting. Until next time, and, I've, and as a parting gift, I'll have these men entertain you. Bishop Stone! Well then, excuse me. Oh, and Billy, if you have something you wish to discuss, come and see me later. I'll be waiting for you. Alright, new villain. Stone is our new villain arc. School. What makes it uh, comical, little Bella? School. Like a bunch of villain cliches, yeah. It's like gripping stuff. Not many games talk about this stuff, right? Like, no games talk about this stuff. Like the 90s, uh, religious sex scandal stuff. Yeah, that's fine. You can comment wherever you like. Lose double shot, nice. Stan, you aren't growing anywhere. I can see why this game is controversial. Yeah, ex exactly, right? Imagine playing a game and all of a sudden it's like the Catholic, like the church, the prevailing North American religion. I, I at least I think so. I, I don't really know this, the statistics. It's like very obviously the, the enemy. And then, oh, by the way, they're also. You know those young boys and girls? They're also just, like, using them. Among other horrible things. Looks like we just missed him. Our pal Stein is... There! Oh my god. 
Does he have a giant robot? Of course he does. This is Xeno Gears. This is Xeno game. Of course he has giant robots. That gear is huge! Yeah, this definitely feels like throwing shade at Catholicism, yeah. The Solaris Rai gear, Arc, Arc, and Seal. That was it, right, Hayuga? What? Oh, yes. The bigger the machine, the less maneuverable it is. So it won't be a problem if you're riding in your gears, but conversely, the fire pull of that thing is phenomenal. If, you go against, if, if it goes up against a bigger target like a ship, blam, there'd be no contest. Ain't that right, Hayuga? Yes, most likely. See what I'm saying? Wait a minute, that means... The Tamu's fleet is in danger. They are unaware of all of this. I think the Yggdrasil can catch up with the gear. Let's hurry and go help the Tamu's fleet. Nice. Right, because they got the the Zaboim excavation is like the key thing. It's like what everyone wants. Update on the church gear and the Tamu's fleets here. They're on the south, sea south of here. If we travel at full speed, we can reach them in any hour. All right, set sail for Tamu's. Aye, aye, sir. First mate. The radar, sir. What is it? The raider just took an unbelievably large object. It appeared right above the fleet. Don't tell me stones there already. No, it's much bigger than I estimated. At least two thousand charles. Oh, it's it's a uh, Shabbat. That gigantic one. Heaven, this is happening. It's Shabbat. It's gonna be that glowing saucer. Right. This is the Tammuz fleet. Now, I just love the way this game looks. Little, like, Lego models here. It's gotta be the Tammuz. It's gotta be Shabbat. That big floating saucer. Oh. Nope. Maybe I'm wrong. What the fuck? Oh, our friends. That's not Shabbat, is it? No, I don't think so. Do we see this? I feel like I've seen this. Is this the thing that attacked the Kinslev? Better for them. Better for them to f simply fulfill their allotted duty rather than fomenting a needless greed. Free reign of doctrines, beliefs. It is problematic. We have no use for an organization that has pr produced fanatics. To seek preservation is human nature. If it is so far gone as to be irredeemable, an example must be made. Of course, the organization was doomed to be discarded. At this late stage, it is, its role is inconsequential. Indeed, we gain nothing from its continued existence. They're talking about the church, of how they wiped out the church just now. It, is, it has already sufficiently served our purpose. Currently, disposal is in, pro, is in progress in many regions. Stein is, directly, is directing the cleanup in Equivy, including acquiring that faithful rem, remnant, I suppose. That will, also be, uh, that will also be attended to in the current strike. All things considered, Carol Ellen is going to great lengths. It is only molecular machinery. What, it, what, is, what is it that he is so invested in? For us, both human and machine have the same meaning. That is so. Either way, it is the same. Yeah, a bunch of, bunch of nonsense other than... Like, I don't know what those guys are saying other than... They're, they're, they're purging the church right now. Because the church was created by them for a purpose and they don't want to deal with it anymore. Main gun, 20 until the energy is recharged. Engineering ready for a full demonstration. Main ship, military units are on standby. Cleanup is at 80% currently. Our heading is clear. Carolyn, a number of ships have avoided being vaporized. What should we do? Carolyn, uh, retrieve lambs 03, 05, and 11, whether damaged or undamaged. Other than that, eliminate the rest of the trash. Use the test subjects, Vels, for retrieval and elimination. We've confirmed the marker location of Stein. 
of the 130 research and excavation sites is one of the most, it's the one on the southernmost edge. Shock troops are entering Zavoim now. I see. For 500 years I've searched for it. This should be most interesting. Oh, this guy seems to be like a king or like, you know, like a leader or something. Releasing the bells. What blazes is that huge fishbowl thing? I have no idea. Almost the entire salvager fleet blown away by one shot. Don't tell me this is the way the church greets us. Obviously it is. What are they attacking us for? We only came to help with the excavations. Captain, Vels, Vels are coming out of the fishbowl thing in their dozens. What? Why? This can't be happening. Launch the gears, load the cannons. Captain! Alright, y'all. We will escape while also rescuing as many survivors as possible from the other ships and shoot down the Vels with our two cannons. Don't let those filthy Vels get near our news. Hans, look alive! Take the helm, we'll show that fishbowl thing how room into the sea retreat. Yes, sir. Ah, panic! Panic, panic, panic! The Vels uh, definitely remind me of Telepia. I detected a rescue signal. It seems the Tammuz is being attacked by a swarm of Vels. Is this what the stone... Is this what stone was talking to? Some kind of purge by Solaris? Let us make haste, otherwise the Tammuz will be destroyed by Vels. Swap someone out. Let's put in Bart. Get us. I can't. Okay, whatever. Don't they get confused with all their different aliases? Yeah, kinda. I definitely get confused. Let's see, because it's been a while since we saved. What's this chapter called? Ocean floor. This would run down. Let's hurry to the Tammuz. Shall we launch the Eagle Oh, let's heal up. Alright, we have to heal. Watch what occurs at teams and pick your attack bodies to stick to seal. Yeah, okay. Put that on someone. Open your gears. Yep. Make your way for the salvage city. Definitely can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let's see if they have any new upgrades here. Get ether doublers. Yeah, yeah. I have those. Sorry, the Shabbat Angel is in intensive care, so no visitors are allowed. I've always wanted to say that no visitor is allowed, now I'm so happy! Nice. When done, talk to Captain. Here we go. Save. Talk to Captain. Sorry, shall we launch? 
Go ahead. Oh, I get it. So now you could go back and buy Ether Doublers if you haven't purchased them already. It's like a good grinding spot, a grinding point. I got you. So this is the next part we just saved, so we should be good. Is there anything else I need to do before we go here? No, nope, just watch what occurs. Okay. Let's go. Don't want to go to the bridge, you said? Stick your seal the arms. Shabbat and Nissan are Hebrew in origin, that makes sense. Most of the time you came because you were worried? Yes, you could say that. You seem to have fared better than I expected, of course. We are men of the sea! Kislev is the ninth month on the Jewish calendar. Interesting. Is what I'd like to say. But the truth is, the situation is pretty serious. We've got some bad. We've got some that are injured badly in some fatalities, but considering what happened to the other ships, we're in no position to complain. By the way, the time, what the hell is with that fishbowl thing? It came out of nowhere and kicked our butts, and the Nikon I was worse left behind bells. I may have headed for some obscure excavation site where there's supposed to be nothing. Odd, ah, since we were, we had been told to go to a deeper and much bigger excavation site, just as I thought. Some say they caught a glimpse of a weird, enormous gear. The sun is the seventh. Seemed like it was guiding that fishbowl thing to the excavation site, they said. Stone. Shabbat is the fifth. There have been little doubt. Something is there. Call it salvager's intuition, but I don't want to get any closer. And Satan, is that fishbowl of an enemy of you and your friends? You could say that. Well, I won't ask you to get revenge for us, but I can't just sit back and do nothing. If you're not going to get in their way, help or we'll help as much as we can. You can ask Hans anything about that excavation site. Fishbowl was headed to an island due north of here, the north edge of the island, but why? There's supposed to be nothing there but a small mine. Okay, definitely going to the mine. with the bells heard a rumor that they come from the Babel Tower is false huh you can talk to the other areas of the the intercom next area now okay do I just get back to the ship now
Men are so weak, they try to forget their fear, but the wells get that crap. I didn't go to shore this time either, even though I thought I would. Well, let's toast this Tamu survivor, now we can drink some more. Amen to that. What will next job be? What's your job? Oh, this and that. Forget it. Okay. Head to the excavation site. We're currently anchored. Leave. So it says on the north side of a small island up here. I think I literally uh, uh, floated past it. Yeah, it's that little edge thing there. Talk to the captain? Yes, I think you did. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one who told me where they were going. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Let's back here. Here's the excavation site. Satan, what could Solaris objectives be? The Solaris Homeland Army. Why here in particular? Well, anyway, let us go down. Like how he asked you a question and you're like, why? Let's go find it. Are these things Gabura Guard? Oh, okay. Guess we're just fighting Solaris Gabura here. Square X. Yeah, Square X triangle. At least still needs triangles. The triangle Square X too. Uh, next area open right near the entrance. Fight the Gebler Guard station by. Or is there one near the entrance? Continue down the hallways until you find a guard. Defeat the four foes. Where's number one? Well, number one's really far away. Like, before, like after the boss fight. There should be a boss fight here. Like Ralph?
Did you notice? His gear is trying to awaken once again. When the time is right, he himself would awaken also. His friends are heading for Zaboim, a place sealed up for 4,000 years. You know what's there better than anyone, don't you? He's probably not going to hand it over to anyone. But it's something we both need. You know what I mean? So, please. Hmm. So Maya wants Graf to do something. He wants to stop us from going to the Zaboim, which we're going to. Okay, three doors. door open? No. This door doesn't open? Okay, so I think the boss is past that hallway. Full health. Yep. These are the ruins of a city. Oh yeah, that's right. We went like way underground. I'd heard the stories, but... I know, I know it well. Yes, the cavern city, Zaboim. This vast mausoleum is where we buried ourselves. Ellie? Ellie, what is wrong? Hmm? What? Just now I... Never mind, let us hurry on. Buried ourselves. So you can see like a city in the background. It kind of looks like a modern, like a futuristic modern city. Okay, a bunch of information. Here's the save. Here's the survival pin. Still called Ocean Floor. Okay, that door is locked. Here's a guard. Level up, Terror Ghost Land. This door's open. This goes down. Let's go explore that other hallway in case there's something here. This, some more level ups. Anything? No, I think it's just that hallway. Okay. up again. Here's the ammo, okay. Wait near the entrance, fight the guard, continue down the hallway until you fight a guard, defeat the four foes for a computer room. <laughs> That sounds cool. Such a fine, well-equipped isolation facility. Could have been a hospital? But the town inside doesn't look so polluted, though. Rather strict airlock and scanning equipment. It does not look operational. 
the inside is preserved so well, the outside probably is too. I think what, uh, what I like about this game is that it could easily be a Saturday morning cartoon appearance wise. I do just enjoy, I love the way this place game looks. Very like pastel-y, very like hand drawn. Everything is kind of like a little bit blurry which lets your imagination, oh my god look at this thing, lets your imagination take a lot of the uh, I'm pretty sure this healed that thing, yeah. See if this does it. It's telling me to heal it. Yeah. Shield, Sting Kick, we like to see those. Ellie, do you remember seeing this? Yes, I wonder why. It's terribly lonely and familiar. Has Ellie been here before? Emergency level five. Presently, the central reactor is isolated. There's a sleep guard. What else did you tell me to find? Take the south door. Okay. Second terminal with a black snake. I don't remember her being in here, but clearly she has, and Satan knows it, yeah. Like, she seems to be... I don't think we've seen her here, like, in a story so far. But, uh, she seems to think she knows this place. So either, like, Solaris, maybe they have a version of it or something like that, or copied it, or maybe... Maybe she's, you know, something secret. 
uh, take the south door, go forth, so it curves northeast. I think it's this way. No, it's not. It must be just Billy. What an inconvenient building. It seems like it's refusing outsiders. Labyrinths are not usually built to protect against enemies. They're usually made to seal up something inside of them. Not too keen. Not to keep something out, but to keep something in. I wonder what that something is. That's a good point. You don't build a labyrinth. You build a prison for prisoners. You build a labyrinth for... Here's the black snake. I think that's for... Bart? the door back by two sets of guards. Get a pen of gold, so water shield. Fire shield. This door now. Nice. A survival tent here. Emergency level. Okay, I'll wait till you get back. Or hit the X button here. Okay, emergency level five. The emergency button inside the reactor was activated three, four, nine, 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 nine hours ago. Okay, how many fucking days or years is that? Three, four, nine, 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 nine. Just That's not helpful. Days. 14,000 days and years. Four, 3,995 years ago, apparently. Forty seven hundred months ago. Yeah, thirty nine centuries ago. So approximately uh thirty nine hundred years ago is when the emergency button was clicked. From this point there is danger of nano contamination. When entering the room, please ex execute a manual scan and confirm safety. After confirming, please reset the emergency level at the nearest terminal. 
It's a cute nail stand. Yeah, sure. Please wait. It's a lot of years ago, yeah. Scan complete to confirm. No nano contamination. You can re enter the room by resetting the emergency level at the nearest terminal. Oh, the terminal upstairs. Are we going to get nano contaminated? Is that the joke? So this is it? This is it? This is just a safe one. Look at these things! More levels up. Okay, so where's the where's the closest terminal? Can you tell me? Where the black snake was and confirm the scan. Save before entering, keep heading south. Okay. Reactor internal safety confirmed. Please reset emergency level. Reset. Please wait. Reset complete. Presently emergency level is normal. I did not tell you. Or maybe I did. Yeah, I think you did. I see it there. Okay, I should be able to go downstairs now. Look at these weird things. Shell bell. Oh, these are the sleep things you said. Okay, this should open now. Nice. Did I save you? Yeah, I did. Decompression in progress. Please wait. This floor seems to be fully operational. Decompression complete. Do you think we can get like a grand secret? down here, like, on top of the revelations that we've already gotten. Let's see the map. Save, jet guard guard, there's a terminal, and then the bosses are right through that door. Which door, though? It's the left one. Okay, the left. That doesn't open. Good thing we aren't epileptic, yeah, for real. Early 90s games, before they realized... To do anything, it seems like it seems we need a password. Oh, new song. Blood, a blood stain. My blood. Ellie thinks Ellie knows that she she's died here maybe there is no pain just coldness sadness Ellie that child has been here in solitude for all this time yeah I like this music too it's like sad lullaby music this child blood the stain certainly looks like blood. And this intense heat. Or is it radiation? It surely is a sign that some kind of emergency sterilization system was activated. Ellie! What's she doing? O oh, vessel for a new soul, peace be upon that soul with who resideth in you. 
people living within other people, huh? Ooh, look at this crescendo of a song. This is a great soundtrack. O vessel for a new soul, peace be upon that soul who resideth in you. Stop, Ellie. We do not know what will happen. Satan, who am I? What am I doing? What am I saying? Is that a person? I think it's a person. What the? Yeah, that's a naked person. Test tube person. hair. Looks like a troll doll. Yeah, it does look like a troll doll, doesn't it? I think it's a person, yeah. It's like a, maybe it's a, a younger person. Satan, is this girl, how did she suddenly take human form? This girl appears to be a an artificial life form created in this reactor core. Okay, so we're creating people. I would guess that she has been reassembled within the reactor based on a sequence from the database in that control room over there. The child's body is most likely composed of molecular scale autonomous machines. Oh, she's a nanomachine. In other words, a colony of what are called nanomachines. She's a nanomachine human. Can we just kill all these guys? I'll be taking the nanomachine colony with me, thank you. Or it is the it is the one being, the key facto that will lead us to God's grace and free humanity from its yoke. So if you don't mind. I like how all their robes have alien faces on them, yeah. Bishop. Ah, Brother Billy, you're here too. I can keep this brief. You'll understand, won't you? This nanomachine colony is a being that must be entrusted to the righteous. But they look like aliens, yeah. It is to become the salvation of humankind. Righteous? I no longer believe that you are so. You who tries to eliminate surface dwellers or the members of the church just because they don't conform to your personal ideals such deeds are. Is there a problem with eliminating those unfit to receive salvation? Why, isn't faith itself the expectation that only the chosen will be saved? There's something very wrong with that. Everyone should have an equal chance of attaining salvation through faith. Are you saying that you could save all humankind? If Karelin uses the nanomachine colony, at least we chosen ones will be saved. Whereas none of you know how to use it, nobody in this world would be saved. Did you accept responsibility for our entire human race? Right, now, my job is to bring that nanomachine colony back to Carolyn. Unlike the church, my quarry is not the ancient weapons that lie in the city's ruins. I don't think your interests are in conflict with our own. No, we can't allow them to take this child. Be it for salvation or otherwise, just what are you going to do with this girl? I simply cannot believe your deeds are honorable. I'm sorry, but I will not be a part of what you have set your mind to. I see that I couldn't make you understand. Such a pity. We don't have time, any more time to waste with you. Please excuse me, I must hurry on ahead. Stop right there. What do you mean? Stop them! You're gonna let her take the girl? 
Bruh. Guys. You had one job. Sorry to have kept you two ladies waiting. It is time for you to do your job, Elements. <laughs> Throne, Seraphita. Buy me as much time as possible. We know, we know. Stop warning us around already. Hey, Throne, let's hurry up and get this over with so we can get out of here. I don't like dark places, right? Let's... It's not like... These orders even came from Ramses anyway. Seriously, escort duty for some relic? Well, that's how it is, folks. It'll help us if you hurry up and lose. Who in the heavens? We don't have time to keep wasting with you. Well, excuse us, but we can't let you just yet. We don't really care much about Carolyn, but if you want to do a crappy job, we'll make Ramses look bad. And thanks to you for this, we're so kindly reviving her for us. We can get through the mission sooner than we thought. Yeah, we don't know how to use machinery, so we're all flustered. Thank you very much for your help. Thanks, Ellie. Sarah, don't tell them that. Just was building up things to make us sound psychologically superior to them. Damn. Aw, but when people do your kindness, you should thank them properly. That's what Grandma always said. But I'm impressed. They're on psychologically superior. Your gin and tonic futon brain, cypher of implants sure make you smart. <laughs> your gin and tonic futon brain, cypher of implants. That's poise, positronic futon brain. <laughs> you, you idiot. Gin and tonic futon. You make it sound like I'm a sleepy drunk. It's already bad enough as it is. Positronic Photon Brain. It's bound to get us in trouble with the makers of Star Trek. <laughs> oh my god. The, the, the makers of Star Trek. Be careful. The elements are direct swords of Ramses. They may look friendly, but their battle prowess is incredible. So, even that conversation was calculated. No, it wasn't at all, which is what makes them so scary. Alright. <laughs> this boss fight. These are these comic relief characters. Kill Safita first. Okay. Alright. I probably should have healed. Um, let's do XX. Taco says, God, I love you. Thanks, Taco. Good night. Good night, Taco. These guys ain't hidden for shit. Oh, Billy. Blah, blah. Water check. More water. Gotcha, gotcha. That's a lot of water. I can't drink that much. You're gonna make me have to raise the water check value. Don't use all your points on water check, buddy. You gotta save it. You never know. What if I'm dying at first one day and you don't have enough points to give me? You ever consider that? How oh, nice I got her already. He's just flexing. Damn. You don't understand my levels. It's true. You could have been, been manipulating it for a long time now. I just added those points redeems not too long ago. Uh, let's heal everyone. So HP all right. Yeah. Oh my god, Giga heals. Let's go. Right, Ellie. Let's see what we got. Aqua Lord. Oh, it healed her. Fuck. You've been waiting, yeah. I just recently added that stuff. Positron beam, wind out there. 28 damage, are you kidding me? Oh my 
god. A, like, diving headbutt. Like, one-shotter. I just realized she, like, takes off her arm to shoot us. She's got, like, a fake arm. shots people Serapita, enough already. We played our part. Let's pull out. Aw, Throne, wait for me. Throne was one of the angels. Serapita and Throne are one of the biblical angel names, if I recall correctly. Throne definitely is. I don't know if Serapita is, but Serapita sounds like one too. Let's feel up. I can't believe we just, like, found an ancient nano-machine girl, and then we immediately led the bad guys to it, and they took her. And, like, we barely stopped them. Says to save and heal up. Was there a save here? I think it's upstairs. Uh-oh. Cutting us to Fey. An accursed existence bound to the earth. O oh, vessel for a new soul to tear away that yoke. The heartbeats. We won't just hand her over to them, alright? That's Faye. Like, with a door closed. No, stop! That looked like Faye in the room. Yeah, that's Faye in the room. I think it's Ellie outside. What is this scene? <laughs> See ya. Huh? Faye? Uh oh, Faye woke up. Faye's demon form woke up, I bet. That is the... That is like little kid Faye. Yeah, it's the little kid Faye. And it's also the one with the weird eye. Like, no, he doesn't have eyes. He has, like, the hair in front of his eyes. We've seen different versions of that little kid now. It, it, the, the, that little kid, the no eyes little kid, was in the first year when fate first snapped and now it's it's been mostly uh it's been taunting him for a while the little one with no eyes like the high eyes are hidden at least i think so so it looked like Faye. at least it looked to me like Faye and ellie but maybe it wasn't ellie but ellie said she was here before so i think it's ellie but Faye and ellie seem to be the ones who might have created that little girl in a previous uh version of them I did save, right? 
Yeah, oh, I want to use some uh, use some mana souls. EP. On the big spanning bridge that overlooks the Boim next battle, you did save. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I think I know who it's against. I'm guessing it's that. It's gonna be that red suit Gundam. Red suit, uh, Faye. Because he just woke up. I like this mad dash out of here now. Deep Sea Girl, new chapter name. The Deep Sea Girl. Billy's Rift, he's in charge of healing. Squeeze the time bar, death wolves, and single attack. Apparently, boss is hard. Well, I'm extremely overpowered, but I believe you. see. Yeah, this must be it. Bishop Stone, stop! Tch, damn, Metal Mints, they're all talk. Can't even buy me some time. Give it back. Hmm? Give it back, give it back. Yeah, the Fey Red Gundam. Ooh. Oh, is this actually what Fey looks like? Red haired man. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I think this is like the god version of Fey that's inside Fey. And this one like comes out and transforms or like has a new suit. Haha, <laughs> that is mine. Give it back. What do you want? Who are you? That toy is too much for the likes of you, so give it back. It is mine. Who on earth are you? Give us your name at least. Names do not matter. But if you insist, it's it. Oh, the Sigmund Freud super being that humans create through trauma? Okay. Okay, here's that boss fight. Alright, uh... So... Billy's in charge of healing using Goddess Call. Okay. I'm just gonna pump. Ooh, I love this soundtrack. Yeah, that's like... Phase moves. Alright, so Billy in charge of speed up allies, yeah. Let's boost myself now. You're just gonna start fucking nuking him. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god, he's dodging shit. Okay. I can 
see why people say this boss is kind of hard. damage going in. Okay, Billy. Speed up yourself now. Billy's really slow. It feels like Billy gets like no turns compared to Satan and Ellie. Okay. Keep up the pressure. Oh wow, I missed with the death blow. This music sounds like the beginning of a VNV nation. Yeah. turn. We got holy light, right? Yeah. Nice. That heal everyone. Perfect. We got his ass. 90,000 EXP. I just love the soundtrack. So strong, huh? Ugh, you? Now's our chance to curl him quick. Oh, something just grabbed. I've got him. Hurry, go after them. That voice. Wiseman. Go, everyone, hurry. Oh, so Wiseman is making sure it doesn't kill us? What the? Pretty quick, weren't you? I see. That woman, eh? Fine. For today's toy, even you will do. Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> hm. I'm not wrong, right? Id is like the super ego that you create to like overcome life's hardships. Wow, that isn't just in time. That and Wiseman, they're really fighting it out. The ether power reaches all the way up here. Alright, we're out. We just leave. So we are too late. Satan, so what happens now that Carolyn has a child? What is a nano machine anyway? Nano machines are robots that are smaller than human cells. In Solaris, they're used in treatment of illnesses and wounds. She is likely a colony of nano machines made by an ancient but advanced technology. Even though it's restricted to the people of Solaris, if 
it makes people happy. What's the problem? It is the words of Bishop Stone that worry me. He mentioned freeing humanity from its yoke. Perhaps her body hides some ancient information on human reconstruction. Demi-humans such, hum such as Rico and Hammer were born as a result of tampering with DNA done by ancient Solaris in an effort to revitalize humankind. If Carolyn is thinking of trying to do the same with advanced nanotechnology, that would be frightening. So, Kraft, talk to Faye. The id is the primitive, basic, and fully unconscious part of the personality contains all the unconscious that is directed. Oh, it's the basic version. Okay, so that's like the basic version. Oh, maybe it's like the id of a god or id of a... of a... something. Like, it's just like the most basic. It just wants to fight. It just wants to... I don't know. It doesn't really have... So far, like, Faye's alter ego, the god version of him, the demon version of him, doesn't seem to have, like, a specific coherent something it just kind of shows up whenever it feels like there's no upgrades right no still just want to fuel up everyone so we're max four yeah okay is in the hangar by the vault hall Mm, yeah, the vault all had, like, just come out of a battle. Hey? Uh, Doc. Hey, why are you here? Feeling better already? Yeah, I guess I'm alright. What are you doing up and about when you're still in recovery? Even I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I found myself in the gear cockpit. I... I don't have a clear head yet. Ugh. Faye. As I thought, you should not be moving around yet. Ark and seal located straight ahead. Prepare gears for launch. It seems he's been watching us. I... I must go. You are in no condition to participate. Let us take care of this. Looks like it's time to settle the score. Faye, please sit this one out. This may be proved to be my final job. Yes, I shall take Faye to the infirmary. Billy, I will leave the rest to you. Okay, so Billy, Ellie... Let's, let's put in Rico? Yeah, let's do some Rico action. I like Rico. I need some levels, too. So is Bart. Do I have to use Billy yet? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh my god, look at Stone. Is that his face? Dude, he looks like fucking... Red Skull from Captain America. That's hilarious. All this observing, scheming, let's just get things done. Those who would do ill to the sacred gazelle, I will eliminate them all. Repent now. Dost thou desire the power? Who are you? Is it Groff? Yeah, it's Groff. He's gonna superpower him, like he did with the uh, other one. The one in the desert. I bet. Time for a super powered boss fight.
I am Groff, the seeker of power. Dost thou desire the power? Power? Hmm, <laughs> there's power right here. I have power, I have this body, courtesy of Carolyn. In the end, a fake power. Do you really think you can win with that? So, what do you mean, fake power? A fake body, a fake awakening. It is all useless. I will give you the power. My fist is the divine breath. I like that Groff shows... I like that Darth Vader shows up when we're about to fight someone and is like, you're not strong enough. Get more powerful. I will give you the divine power. Blossom will fall in sea to draw upon thy hidden flowers. Look at this, like, sick-ass animation he's got. I grant unto thee the power of, this, of glorious mother of destruction. Ah. Alright, so don't do anything for the first three turns. Just kind of buff myself. Um, no final damage. Okay. There's the seal. This guy still doesn't have any self buffs or anything, huh? No good, not getting through at all. There's some kind of barrier. Most likely a negative sentiment. Hatred converted to ether and acting as a barrier. This dude's converting hatred into ether to shield himself. Yo. If we can somehow channel our strong force of will and change it to ether. Haha, <laughs> are you suffering, son of Josiah? When I took you in four years ago, there was proof of old my old friendship with your father. That hate-stained friendship with Josiah who challenged me for command of Gaburah. Josiah, who like a beast stole the Raquel I loved. Oh my god, this guy's like Phantom of the Opera. Threw away the command of Gaburah that I wanted so much, then disappeared from Solaris. My father did that, says Billy? Four years ago, after searching to the ends of the earth, no trace of him could be found. But I found his wife, my ex-lover, Raquel. As for Raquel, defiled by him and the proof of that defilement, you and your sister. He killed her. I killed your mother. Using crowns and rock and rolls, I saved poor Raquel. Oh, that's right, stone. Oh, right. It was him who... Ah, yep. You son of a... You use Vels against my mother? Ah yes, Billy, let me tell you something good. The Vels you've been purging this whole time. They are all ordinary people chosen by the church and subject to Karel's procedures. I knew it. They're they're like lost people. Like the church takes in wandering people and fucking transforms them into monsters. You've been slaughtering human beings. Ha ha ha. A wretched son befitting a wretched father. Ha 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 ha. Now confess to me. Pay for your sins with your own flesh and bones. Perfect. No, there ain't a single thing for you to repent for, Billy. It's my father. You talk as if you and Raquel were in love. Okay, last chance to get holy pendants. You talk as if you and Raquel were in love. You always were a nice, self-serving fool. This voice! I've got us covered. With, use this, Billy. With this, you can rip off that barrier of his. Yeah, that is a bunt line. It is an ether gun gear where the pilot rides directly in the warhead. If we use that, surely we can surely overcome Stone's negative power. However, 
What? Is uh, Josiah about to shoot himself into stone? Billy, with a joint attack from my gear and your gear, we can break through that barrier. I'm gonna bore your shoulder from it, so when you get him the chance, take aim. Let's wrap this one once and, uh, up. <laughs> Let's wrap this one up once and for all, Ace Time. But I want, I want you to know that you aren't gonna Raquel when you die, because whatever happens, your destination is hell. I knew it, Josiah. Really needs to use it. He must be stopped. Billy, can you hear me, Billy? No good. There is no response. Billy, do you see now? Stein's teachings were all a deception. It's just a fabricated belief system made to compensate for the fragile human heart. But real faith in God aren't things that are given to you by others, right? There are things you discover within yourself and by yourself. That which cannot be put into words, that which cannot be expressed. Isn't that what God is all about? The question is not that God, but that God doth not answer. I taught you about guns when you were so young so that you'd help people. You say that guns are just tools for killing, but they're not. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. True. You ever looked on the expressions on the face of those wells you've had defeated? Changing into a bells is an excruciating, painful thing. In order to ease that agony, they seek human blood, and they attack. But even that can't clear their hearts of the true agony. There's only one way they can be saved from that pain, and that's to terminate them. All the wells you put out of their misery, don't you see how at ease they looked? Their guns saved those poor people who had become bells. Not everyone can do that. Your faith from made it possible is no deception. God exists within you. Oh, this is like a father. Alright, now. Let's go, Billy. Billy, go. Is he really gonna shoot his dad? Like, oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. Barrier broken. I was too late. Billy, that is a weapon that uses its passenger as a human warhead. What? Then father is... Oh my god. Oh my... <laughs> oh no. That's not... That's not ideal. He just shot our dad. Through... The spell decreases. Patricide is the name of the game, evidently. Man, let's fucking throw some arrows at this bee. Should do like 4,000 damage at least. Twelve hundred. That's not that good. Really. Yes, we can boost her now. Yeah. Power loss.
I would heal them. Fuck. God, heal that too? Okay. Uh, special? You killed him like four times. Can you please just fire damage him? Is he just immune to all ether? Yes, okay. So I just healed him so much. Nice, bunch of levels up, bunch of stuff. I'm gonna look for a save point as soon as this is over. Just talking, Dad. Billy, I should have never made such a weapon. No, it's not your fault. This is the best way to see Father off. Aww. You're right. Thanks, son. Okay. What's that? Old friend, are you alright? You better believe it. As if I'd leave that busted up immature piece of junk in that state forever. I made a few improvements. Ouchie, wow, wow, wow. Even so, I never want to do that again. But still, hell, was it? It was a surprise that Josiah the Unbeliever acknowledged life after her death. Oh, so you were listening? Just a verbal course, the perfect parting gift for that bastard, wouldn't you say? It certainly is your core style of send-off. Papa. Aww. Prim. Prim, what did you just say, huh, Prim? Papa. Ah, did you hear that Primer's curse seemed to have been lifted? Huh. Prim talk, Prim just talk. Hey, Prim, now say my name, say Billy. Aw, oh, happy ending. I was gonna say you shot your dad at your enemy, but now nah, it's all good. He like, you know, jumped out. Well, the church is totally done for this time. Still a total mess, that mob. Do you not think it is about time you stole the full story, Josiah? You were not just wandering around drinking and picking fights, were you? I'm sure Billy wants to know what you've been up to, eh? Yes, yeah, so it would certainly make me feel a lot better. I accept from now on that he's only looking out for me, but I'm still trying to sort out my feelings about getting pushed around by my dad. What do you mean for now? I'm glad Prim can speak, but now she only, now she only calls out for a father. Despite me, he was looked after for all this time. What's that about? Ah, Billy, I'm sure she is just being shy. As soon as she would start calling out for you too, why, even my own daughter does not call out for me. So, old friends, for what purpose have you been acting alone all this time? Fine, I'll probably need your help from here on anyway. Yeah, I'll tell you more, but I ain't doing it sober, so let's go into the gun room. 
When I was in Solaris, I learned of the existence of a top secret plan directed by Karelin. That was M, or Malik, project. In order to proceed with the plan, many lambs were gathered by the church to become guinea pigs or as they become bells. Human experimentation. Discussed with their methods, I decided to investigate. I found a central project transferred. I found out about a scientist central to the project, which was telling true facts into a prototype gear, and then had it escape along with his daughter. Ooh, is this Ellie? With that, I'm afraid, was the last information I was able to pin. That's guaranteed to be Ellie. So Ellie was escaping with the gear that had the information on the Vels. That's Veltal. Our gear. That's, uh, phase gear. Because what I found out, I came down to the surface world. And this is where I hid my... And this is where I hid, along with Billy and my wife, Raquel. I've been looking for that gear and the girl ever since. And so I heard that the scientist's daughter and the gear may be in Shabbat. All very... Oh, maybe I'm not... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this was way long ago. All very well, except I didn't know how in Blazes to get to the Shabbat. Or how to make contact. The place is protected by a strong bear that can... That even Solaris can't do anything about. Just my luck. That girl's name wouldn't happen to be Maria. Okay, so I was wrong. I thought it was Faye and Ellie. Oh, are you two alright? Shouldn't you get more rest? It's fine. Thankfully, I can stand and walk again at last. I'm alright, too. Maria, eh? If I remember, her father's name was Nicola. Well, that I don't know. But I've heard about a girl... Uh, rumors about a girl in a gear. Hmm, then it's gotta be them. The huge gear is in Shabbat. So then, how can we get to the Shabbat? Is there a way to contact the place? Unfortunately, since I was taken captive, I have no way to contact them either. Let's see. There may be a way. Originally, Shabbat was just situated at the top of the Babel Tower. They say there's a facility at the top of the tower in communication with the Shabbat homelands. If that still exists today, then... Hmm, there's a good possibility the facility has been destroyed, especially when you consider the fact that the tower was sealed by the church. You're being pessimistic again. I'm just being realistic. I think we have no choice but to try going there. And the rate, as long as the gate exists, we can't break free from Solaris existence. Their mystery plan bothers me too. A covert project using people gathered from the surface? The secret plan and church's involvement and so on. What in the hell does Solaris think we surface dwelling humans are? Ah, sorry. So I forgot this is the country of your people we're talking about, Ellie. My country is what it is, but I am who I am. I'm here by choice, because my, I myself felt something wasn't right, so don't worry about me. Well then, there's nothing else for it. Let's try to go there. We need to find out about the truth, about the records we found in the church HQ, and what Billy's father told us. Plus, I must go to Shabbat for my own personal reasons. Yeah, that's where your your parents might be from, right? But we're going to meet, like, Shabbat's uh, face hometown. No time like the present, let's head for Babel Tower right away. Sweet. Um, let's, uh, let's get some... Let's get some Bart back in. Let's get the... Yeah, Bart. Yeah, this is like a good crew here. Bart, Ellie, and Faye. I like that crew. Ooh, another scene. So you have returned. And did you get what you were after? Yes, I have obtained the colony of nanomachines. How self-indulgent. More importantly, I trust the M project is progressing. We require superior flesh, superior servants. It has taken far, far too long to get to this point. We cannot afford to misjudge the timing of the civilization reaching its zenith. We exist for our mother. Hmm. Can these be the words of the same individuals who once sold out that very mother, their creator, just to preserve their own egos? That is a past folly. From a time where we are under the spell of the flesh, it is different now. I do not take orders from you, you who lost that flesh so long ago. Do not forget who resurrected you as data in the soul 9000. The years that felt like an eternity to humankind are but a blink of an eye to a god. There is nothing to fear. Hmm. So Corellin seems to be the big baddie. And that council of people there are just like... They, try, they manipulate things and they give orders and stuff, but like... They're not necessarily... Uh all-powerful okay I'm gonna save it here uh, might be back tomorrow hopefully back tomorrow. Uh, if not maybe on the weekend but definitely on Monday so worst case we'll be back on Monday thanks everyone for tuning in